Catholic Morning Prayer for November 15, 2024 Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. As we begin this day, let us open our hearts to God's grace and prepare ourselves to receive His Word. Today, we will reflect on His teachings, offer our prayers, and surrender our intentions to Him. Please take a moment to bring your personal prayer intentions before God, and we will include them in our morning prayers. May our hearts be filled with peace, and may we walk closely with Christ today. Morning Offering In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, I offer you all my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day. I unite them with the holy sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world. I offer them for all the intentions of your Sacred Heart, the salvation of souls, the reparation of sin, and the reunion of all Christians. I offer them for the intentions of our bishops and all apostles of prayer, and in particular for those recommended by our Holy Father this month. May all that I do today be for your glory and the good of others. Amen. Thanksgiving for the day. Lord God, I thank you for the gift of this new day. Your love and faithfulness surround me and I am grateful for the opportunity to live, work, and serve you today. Help me to see your presence in every moment, and to use every opportunity to bring glory to your name. Thank you for the blessings you have bestowed upon me, and help me to remain humble and grateful for all that you provide. Morning Psalm Blessed are those who fear the Lord, who walk in his ways. Psalm 128 verse 1 Readings of the Day First reading, 2 John, verses 4-9 to I rejoiced greatly to find some of your children walking in the truth, just as we were commanded by the Father. And now I ask you, dear lady, not as though I were writing you a new commandment, but the one we have had from the beginning, that we love one another. And this is love, that we walk according to his commandments. This is the commandment, just as you have heard from the beginning, so that you should walk in it. For many deceivers have gone out into the world, those who do not confess the coming of Jesus Christ in the flesh. Such a one is the deceiver and the antichrist. Watch yourselves, so that you may not lose what we have worked for, but may win a full reward. Everyone who goes on ahead and does not abide in the teaching of Christ does not have God. Whoever abides in the teaching has both the Father and the Son. If anyone comes to you and does not bring this teaching, do not receive him into your house or give him any greeting, for whoever greets him takes part in his wicked works. The Word of the Lord Gospel Reading Luke 17 verses 26 to 37 Just as it was in the days of Noah, so will it be in the days of the Son of Man. They were eating and drinking and marrying and being given in marriage, until the day when Noah entered the ark, and the flood came and destroyed them all. Likewise, just as it was in the days of Lot, they were eating and drinking, buying and selling, planting and building. But on the day when Lot went out from Sodom, fire and sulfur rained from heaven and destroyed them all. So will it be on the day when the Son of Man is revealed. On that day, let the one who is on the house stop with his goods in the house, not come down to take them away. And likewise let the one who is in the field not turn back. Remember Lot's wife. Whoever seeks to preserve his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life will keep it. I tell you, in that night there will be two in one bed. One will be taken and the other left. There will be two women grinding together. One will be taken and the other left. And they said to him, Where, Lord? He said to them, where the corpse is, there the vultures will gather. The Gospel of the Lord In today's readings, we are reminded of the importance of living according to the truth and of staying faithful to God's commandments, particularly in times of uncertainty and change. In 2 John, verses 4-9, St. John rejoices to find some of the believers living in the truth, walking according to the commandments of God. He emphasizes that love is the foundation of walking in truth, loving one another as God commands us. This is a simple but profound message. 
Love is not merely an emotion, but an action demonstrated by living according to God's will. John also warns against deceivers who lead people away from the true doctrine of Christ. He stresses the importance of abiding in the teaching of Christ, which brings both the Father and the Son into our lives. As we reflect on this passage, we are called to examine our lives and our relationships. Are we walking in truth, grounded in the love of Christ? Are we living in a way that reflects His teachings, even in the face of challenges and distractions? In Luke 17 verses 26 to 37, Jesus speaks about the coming of the Son of Man, drawing parallels to the days of Noah and Lot. Both of these stories remind us of the unpredictability of God's judgment and the need for vigilance. People were going about their daily lives, eating, drinking, marrying. When the flood came in Noah's time, and when fire rained down on Sodom in Lot's time, Jesus warns that when he returns, many will be unprepared. He urges his followers to live in a state of readiness, knowing that his coming will be sudden and unexpected. The message is clear. Do not become complacent in your faith. We are called to stay awake, to live each day as if it were our last, and to be ready for the Lord's return, whenever it may come. As we reflect on these readings, let us ask ourselves, are we walking in the truth of God's commandments? Are we living with an awareness of the nearness of His return, prepared to meet Him with faith and humility? Prayer to the Sacred Heart of Jesus O most sacred heart of Jesus, fountain of every blessing, I place my trust in you. Help me to open my heart to your love and to reflect that love in my actions. Grant me the grace to live with integrity, humility, and a spirit of service, knowing that all good things come from you. May my heart beat in unison with yours. Prayer to the Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit, fill my heart with your gifts. Enlighten my mind and strengthen my resolve to follow Christ more closely. Help me to live according to God's will and empower me to be a faithful servant, always ready to serve others in love. May your presence guide me through each moment of the day. Consecration to the Immaculate Heart of Mary O Mary, my Queen and Mother, I give myself entirely to you, and to show my devotion to you. I consecrate to you this day my eyes, my ears, my mouth, my heart, my whole being without reserve. Keep me and guard me as your property and possession. Lead me closer to your Son, Jesus, and help me to grow in holiness. Prayer to Saint Joseph O Saint Joseph, whose protection is so great, so prompt, so strong before the throne of God. I place in you all my interests and desires. O Saint Joseph, do assist me by your powerful intercession, and obtain for me from your divine Son all spiritual blessings, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. So that, having engaged here below your heavenly power, I may offer my thanksgiving and homage to the most loving of fathers. Prayer to Saint Michael the Archangel Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle, be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Prayer to the Guardian Angel Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here. Ever this day be at my side, to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. Prayer for the holy souls. O loving God, we remember the souls of the faithful departed, especially those who have no one to pray for them. We ask that you grant them peace and welcome them into your eternal light. Through the intercession of the blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints, may they find relief from their suffering. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. Litany of Humility O Jesus, meek and humble of heart, hear me. From the desire of being esteemed, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being loved, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being extolled, deliver me, Jesus. 
from the desire of being honored. Deliver me, Jesus, from the desire of being praised. Deliver me, Jesus, from the desire of being preferred to others. Deliver me, Jesus, from the desire of being consulted. Deliver me, Jesus, from the desire of being approved. Deliver me, Jesus, from the fear of being humiliated. Deliver me, Jesus, from the fear of being despised. Deliver me, Jesus, from the fear of suffering rebukes. Deliver me, Jesus, from the fear of being calumniated. Deliver me, Jesus, from the fear of being forgotten. Deliver me, Jesus, from the fear of being ridiculed. Deliver me, Jesus, from the fear of being wronged. Deliver me, Jesus, from the fear of being suspected. Deliver me, Jesus, that others may be loved more than I. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That others may be esteemed more than I. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That, in the opinion of the world, others may increase and I may decrease. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That others may be chosen and I set aside. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That others may be praised and I unnoticed. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That others may be preferred to me in everything. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That others may become holier than I. Provided that I become as holy as I should. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. Intercessory Prayers Heavenly Father, we come before you with humble hearts bringing our needs and the needs of the world to your merciful attention. Hear our prayers. For the Catholic Church, especially for missionaries. Loving God, we pray for the Universal Church and for all those who serve as missionaries in dangerous parts of the world. Protect them, strengthen them, and guide them as they spread the gospel and bring hope to those in need. Response, Lord, hear our prayer. For those struggling with incurable diseases, Lord, we lift up to you all those suffering from incurable diseases. Grant them your peace, comfort, and strength as they journey through their pain. May they find hope in your love and peace in your presence. Response, Lord, hear our prayer. For homeless people, Heavenly Father, we pray for the homeless, those without shelter or security. May they find a safe place to stay and the care they need. We ask that you move the hearts of the community to provide for their needs. Response, Lord, hear our prayer. For war-stricken countries, Lord, we pray for all those living in war-stricken countries. May you bring peace to these nations and protection to those suffering from violence and conflict. Heal the wounds of war and grant hope for a brighter future. Response, Lord, hear our prayer. As we offer these intentions, we invite all who are joining in prayer to pause for a moment and silently present their personal intentions to the Lord. Brothers and sisters, if you have prayer requests that you would like us to include in future prayers, please feel free to share them in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel so that others may also benefit from these prayers. Let's share God's love and grace with others today. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. 
Act of Thanksgiving Lord, I thank you for this time of prayer and reflection. Thank you for all the blessings you have bestowed upon me and my loved ones. Help me to always recognize your hand in my life and to respond with gratitude. Resolution for the day. Inspired by today's readings, I resolve to walk in truth and love, staying vigilant and prepared for the coming of the Lord, and to serve others with a heart full of gratitude and mercy. Concluding Prayer Father in Heaven, thank you for this sacred time of prayer and reflection. As I go about my day, keep my heart focused on Jesus and help me to live out the humility and service He modeled so perfectly. May my actions reflect His love and bring others to know you more deeply. Final Blessing May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you always. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.